Whew, it's hot folks. And you know me, I love to build a fire, but I'm looking for something more convenient and I'm gonna show you how to get more flavor out of that gas grill so we ain't gotta split no wood and build a fire. Come on. So, let's get some more flavor out of this gas grill. Yeah, I'm a wood man, I am. But every once in a while, I'd like to just come out here light that fire not have to stand by it or go cut some wood but I still want that smoke flavor that that mesquite brings me or any hardwood so let's get after it and let's turn this thing into I want to make some flavor so I took me some mesquite cut them three quarters to nearly an inch thick they've been soaking in good creek water for about 30 minutes so we're just going to take them got this grill on it is hot just going to place them right in here. Shut that lid. And we're going to let them go to smoking. Now this may take 20 minutes, so all these burners are on high. And we're going to leave them that way till we get that smoke flavor to rolling in there. Then we'll do some adjusting, throw us some meat on there. Folks, it's been nine and a half minutes, so let's take a look in here and see. We do have some smoke taking place, and I want to see if all of these have caught a hole. Oh, we have some stuff happening. As you can see, that one and that other. These two here will catch in a minute, and we'll be good to go. Now, I always try to keep one of these handy so these others catch up. I'm going to give them a little slowing down process. Shut that lid. We ought to be ready to go, maybe five more minutes. All right, folks, it has been 17 minutes exactly since we first put them ones on there. This thing is hot. That temperature says 625. Oh, yeah. You can see we're beginning to smoke all the way around. Everything is looking good. We're going to blow this little rascal out, I hope. See that good smoke? That's what we're after. Now, we're going to turn these outside burners down to low. Scoot these fellers over here on the sides. Now we can clean this grill here a little in the middle. But this middle burner is still on high. And just so happens that the beagle brought me a ribeye to throw on. But remember we always grease it before we throw it on there and make a flamethrower. So let's shut the lid. But look, we have fire, you say. Well, not no more. I want the smoke. So let's starve that oxygen off. Let's get that flavor to generating through here. And we're gonna have us some steak that's got some smoke flavor to it. Now, we're gonna go ahead and check it. That steak been on there about three minutes. And I wanna make sure them deals ain't flaming. So when you get this far, if they still are, we're going to go ahead and turn them out because we're just cooking right in the middle. Oh, you can see they still all right. But I think this little rascal needs to be right here. There we go. See this smoke that's still generating around there? We are doing it to it. it won't be long and it's time for beef. Well, my belly's grumbling. I don't know if y'all heard it, but I'm getting pretty hungry. So I think this thing is about ready. Oh yeah, I can tell he's about ready. You can see we still got smoke action going here. So let's pull him off and let him cool. And let me talk to you about some tips on this deal. Now, if them two go back to flaming, turn them off. They're still got enough heat in them and they're still smoldering. They're gonna make smoke. But I think the biggest thing at all is cut them at least an inch thick, thick soak them at least 30 minutes and then give them time to catch and it's a slow smoking deal you just don't want them just sit there and burn up you want them to smoke a little we're after that mesquite flavor but you need more mesquite flavor than that folks get you some of this mesquite rub if you're just cooking on a gas grill it's got a little mesquite flavoring in there it'll help you i'm going to cut this beef and try a bite Sorry, but if you're doing this and you're wanting to get different flavors with wood it's got to be a hardwood all right beef pork wild game, stuff like that, I'm gonna always try to use like a mesquite or an oak. Now, if it's got some fins and some feathers on it, sure, I've cooked it over mesquite and oak, 
But if you want to get a really good taste in that stuff, try your fruit wood, peach, apple, cherry. If you want a really good, rich, hearty smoke flavor and you're smoking some pork or something like that, get you some of that hickory. Them folks in the east will tell you that's about all they use is hickory. Don't none grow here in southwest Oklahoma. It's mostly mesquite or oak. But it's got to be a hardwood to get a flavor. I'm going to go ahead and cut this rascal because the big is waiting right there. He's quality control. And remember what I always tell you? He done died once. We ain't going to kill him twice. If he's a different color than that anywhere else further along, hey, we done messed up. Mm. Just like it come off old Bertha on a mesquite fire. So folks, you ain't got to cut no wood. If you got something where you can just get you some wood chips, some of them mesquite coasters, something like that, you can flavor your gas grill up to where it's just like cooking on wood. Thank y'all so much for stopping by. We appreciate it. We don't take it for granted. Hit the little subscribe button on the bottom. God bless you each and every one, and me and the beagle going to eat. What do you think, big? Wait for it. Wait for it. I mean, it is good, but you have to wait. Man, that looks good. I go, whoop! You didn't wait. Wait. Okay, good boy. Good boy. Was it good? You need one more?